We have someone from your past wanting to look you up, wanting to reach out in some type of way, but something is intimidating about this situation now that they realize or they know for sure they've broken the trust with you. I feel something is intimidating about you because you are fine without them or someone is realizing that you are not as confused or broken as they thought that you would be. I feel like it's just someone who is intimidated by you because they are not used to dealing with someone who is so in touch with self. Intuition. In fact, I feel this is someone who is completely shocked. Someone is shocked by how you handled a situation or how you chose to handle them after they chose to break your trust. This energy is shocked that you moved on and this is why they're wanting to reach out, set a date. Someone wants to know what you're up to. Someone wants to know what you're doing. I feel like someone wants to know what you're up to. They want you to think that something was a misunderstanding and they're wanting you to feel like something was casually misunderstood, but there is nothing casual about their disrespect. Hmm. I feel the vibe has changed when it comes to someone you once trusted, yet I sense in some way this energy is still trying to minimize or be dismissive about many of the things they have said or done. As I said before, the vibe has changed when it comes to someone who is always playing games, someone who took a risk, and they do realize there is unfinished business with you, but they're still carrying fuckboy energy. Someone is still carrying low vibrational energy, where they're still fearing commitment, loyalty, and respect, and ignoring how they threw something away with you. I feel this is someone who has a very anxious mindset. Yet even though they have this anxious mindset, this energy still feels they can still get you to put your guard down. They're wanting your attention, wanting validation, they're wanting to hang out, but this energy is still being strategic with you. Still not seeing the truth when it comes to just simply apologizing to you. This energy doesn't want to be blocked, so they're going to do what they need to do to get closer to you. Someone wants you to feel like them breadcrumbing you was a misunderstanding, yet this is their denial. Hmm. This energy wants to make a decision when it comes to you and they're planning to do so, yet this energy is still uncertain, but still somewhat prideful. This energy still feels like they can bond with you, get you to attach in some way. Now they feel like they have to chase or even give some type of false promise or attention just so they can get what they want. Someone is definitely wanting to reach out to you, continue a game that they like to play, but many of you are over this. And this is another reason why they're somewhat shocked and intimidated. I feel like someone is up for the chase, up for the challenge, but I feel like this just might be a risk that they shouldn't take as this energy has taken one too many chances with you. But I feel this time, something will break. Because as I said before, the vibe has changed due to the broken promises and the chase. This is someone who likes the thrill of the chase. And whether that's them chasing someone, which is rare, or they just like someone chasing them. And this is why they're always leading something on or stringing something along. Let's grab another deck here. But I also feel many of you already see through these broken promises. Many of you see the truth when it comes to this energy. It may have taken you a while to do so because of the fact that you see potential or you were hopeful when it comes to this connection. But now that you see the truth, it's going to be hard to get over on you. Not just hard. I feel like it's going to be next to impossible. Uh, this is someone who is definitely overly confident. But also feeling like they're too proud to beg. 
but the trust is broken. There's no confession. And many of you are no longer investing in something that has only brought you tears. This is someone who is playing a lot of games. And when it comes to the trust, there's little to none, if any. But I feel someone has definitely played their last game with you. Because not only has the vibe changed, so have you. For many of you, this is definitely someone from your past who still desires to link up. This energy doesn't want you to give up, but there's, they're going to be surprised by the new energy that you're carrying. No confession. There's no trust. There's no stability. Many of you are no longer shedding any tears behind this anymore. Even though there's still a sense of indecision and doubt, many of you are no longer going backwards for someone who is just not worth the time. Someone wants you to understand how much they miss you, but they're still being dismissive about what's really going on. Someone feels like you're still in love. Something is forever. They'll be forgiven in due time, but they are still not setting a record straight. There's still no respect. There's still no commitment. And many of you are being careful. You're being careful when it comes to this. Because in so many ways, you know they're not sorry. You know they're not sorry because they're still guarded. They're still guarded to a truth and still at a distance because they're not wanting to admit something to you. This is someone who has a guarded heart but still has passion and love for you but has a very strange way of showing it. Because it always feels like it's a scam. It feels like you barely know who they are or knew who they are. They're always bringing you to a space of disappointment or tears. There's never any trust or respect, confession. Not the way it used to be. This is someone who lost you because they lost themselves within their lives and their paid games. But I feel these games are definitely played out. And they're just going to have to see that for themselves. Let's get some more energy here. Energy on the message. So I'm still pretending something is just not what it seems to be, to be, but it is exactly what it seems to be, which is they can't be trusted. This is someone who knows they have unfinished business with you, for, but for many of you, you feel like something is done. There's nothing unfinished about it. Many of you have already made a choice or you're standing in the position to do so. You're standing in the position to do so because you know this energy is selfish. There's gossiping, gossip circling around when it comes to this energy. There's a lot of energies here that do not trust this person. They know this energy is selfish and they'll never give a confession. And this is why the trust is lost or it's hard to gain. I feel this energy losing your trust is a turn off. Without the respect, you don't see them the same. I feel their betrayal, their lies, them being fake is a complete turn off. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is someone who took a break from you to play their, their games, sit in some type of love triangle that has become a danger to themselves and everyone who plays. I feel this is someone who's a danger to their sins, toxic ways. This is someone who likes to love bomb as a love potion. That is clearly poisonous. Mm. This is someone who's in violation. But I feel the sh sharks are circling when it comes to this energy who is just wanting to have fun. Always seducing. Always doing things for money or sex. Someone is still giving into weaknesses and lustful ways. I feel there is trouble ahead. There is trouble ahead when it comes to this energy who is still giving into false motives, addictions. I feel the sharks are circling when it comes to this energy because they cannot be trusted. No matter what they try to say or how they're trying to spin this, someone intentionally violated this connection. And now that something is old or outplayed or someone is getting bored with what they're dealing with, they're wanting to come back your way. But I feel this violation they took something too far, and this is not the kind of games that you play, and they know it. Yet they still play this senseless game with you. Let's get some more energy here from this deck. Hmm. 
Many of you know this energy is a player. And they're stuck in some type of triangle of toxic ways and connections that take them nowhere. But I feel something is changing. Not changing for them. But I feel it's happening to them. Someone betrayed you. There's no honesty. And you feel like this is someone who will never find a way to respect the connection. Not the way that they should. However, this energy will always pretend to give that energy. Mm. But they always seem to give in to their desires. This is why someone is a danger, not just to themselves, but to anyone who tries to love them. I feel many of you already realize this energy is toxic and just may never change, but I also feel many of you are hopeful. But I feel this one, they're stuck in their ways. Let's get some final energy here from this deck on the screen, brother. Final messages here. Someone has an obsession when it comes to their toxic ways. This energy feels like this is who they are. You can even see it in their body language. Hmm. I definitely believe this is someone who believes they can get away with anything. They can, and this is why they're always in violation. I feel like this is someone who's in violation of many things, not just with you, but in general, in life. Someone walked away from you, wanting space. Just so they can be reckless. But I feel that was a big mistake. Because now their mistakes are their biggest challenges. I feel this is someone who made the mistake to break a heart, break your heart, or become a narcissist. Mm. A nightmare. Because they had revenge on the plate. Mm. But many of you are following your intuition when it comes to someone who is wanting to make a beeline or a U-turn to you. Someone who has already said goodbye. Mm. But I feel many of you are cautious and aware there are snakes in the grass. Many of you are cautious and aware of the fact that this energy can be slithery and slimy. Many of you have already checked the warning label on this and you're not buying it. Mm. You're not buying into the pillow talk, the false promises. And for many of you, this is someone who just simply no longer has the key to your heart. It's game over. As I said before, this is someone who believes that they can have access to you if they really want to. But I feel they're in denial. There is no escape. They won't be able to pick this back up. Many of you have already told them no. They should find another way. Because what they have chosen to do, just ain't it. For many of you, you have a lot of love for this energy you already used to. But I feel it's not what they did, it's how they chose to do it. And they're not just dishonest with you, they're disrespectful as well. Mm. Someone was definitely sitting in a space where they were thinking they were too big to fail in some type of situation where they thought that they could claim something was just a misunderstanding, but something is definitely clear to you as it is to me that this energy is just playing games with you. Let's get another deck out here. This energy believes that in time something will become easier, but it's only getting harder. Hmm. This energy believes they are a master manipulator and they can use the history of this relationship as an easy way back to you. But I feel that won't be part of the plan. Yeah, this is someone who is keeping secrets. But also feeling like they're needing to go to the extreme when it comes to getting something from you. But I feel this is someone who is needing to shed the old, or many of you have already done so. Shed the old to bring in the new. 
because this is someone who has too many toxic ways self-centered energy here this is someone who only thinks of self hmm. this is someone who only thinks of self and this is why they're poisonous to anything or anyone they try to touch this is someone who's upset because they're no longer obsessed someone feels like you're no longer obsessed within a delicate situation and they're wanting to get you back on track or back on the train hmm. trapped in your thoughts Want, someone wants you trapped in your thoughts, but they don't want you to overthink this. They want you to have weak boundaries. Hmm. They want you to have weak boundaries when it comes to a toxic connection. Isolation. Someone wants you to be isolated from those that you love. To continue this trauma bond with them. This love triangle where someone is playing mind games. Playing games. Man, this is someone who's definitely lost to some toxic ways that would leave you lost for words when it comes to your commitment issues. This is someone who's lacking reciprocity, avoiding a truth, and still thinking out of some very twisted ways. This is someone who is still avoiding a truth and still not listening, suffocating from a situation. Someone knows that something was suffocating you, but they don't care that something is out of balance. However, I do feel this is someone who will be stripped down by something that is coming their way. This could be karmic connections. This could be just simply karma. Consequence. Dead. I feel there is a debt that needs to be paid by this energy that they have yet to pay. But I feel they will soon be drowning in it. They will soon be drowning in it because they are still seeking attention. Seeking, seeking attention from you or anyone else that will come their way because many of you are going to seek this one out and it's going to cause this energy to stray or continue to search for what is empty inside of them but they'll never find it they'll never find it in a third party or anything else but I feel something something drastic was soon Lift the veil. Though for some of you, many of these energies will understand the truth, but it won't be until it's too late. Too late to undo the revenge, the violations, the danger that they put others in by playing these dangerous games of the heart. I feel like when it comes to you, revenge should have never been on the menu. For some of you, they want to punish you for seeing the truth. And for others, this energy is just a complete nightmare, not just for you, but for anyone else. This energy believes they can finesse their way out of anything. In fact, this energy believes they can finesse or even brainwash you back into their lost reality by targeting what they feel you need from them. Mm. Yet I sense they're still not worthy of you in any way. They're just hoping in some way you don't see it. Let's grab another deck here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some energy here for this deck. This is someone who feels like they can kind of just work their way back into a situation. And even though they know that something won't be e easy, as I said before, I feel like they're up to the challenge. I feel like the more of a challenge you are, the more that they're going to seek you out. But I feel this is, this is not something many of you are wanting to be attached to. This is someone who is just too unreliable, as it seems... This energy is just not emotionally connected enough to give you what is necessary. For many of you, this is someone who just can't give you what they don't have. This is someone who's coming out as non-committal and all talk, no walk, just lip service. This is someone who is still immature to loyalty. This energy sits in a fantasy when it comes to the drama that they create and rest in. This energy is torn to a great escape. When it comes to a soul contract, this energy is hiding truth behind lies. 
But I also feel when it comes to karmic energies, false environments, this energy is still capable of blindsiding you. This energy is still capable of blindsiding you because they're still tempted. Tempted yet wanting to rebuild with you. This energy is still a runner. This energy is a runner. And they're still toxic. Many of you already know this. You know this energy won't face anything for what it truly is. And this is why many of you have chosen yourself. Chosen to repair heart and soul. Many of you already know the grass is not greener on the other side. Many of you already know this energy has developed some harsh ways. Pulling you in, but also pushing you away. Someone thought that they had you on hold. Now many of you are sitting in a space where you hold all the cards. And they're in a space where they're still thinking something is to be continued. They're still not seeing a the truth. They're refusing to see that even coming clean with something won't change anything. As many of you have already made a decision. A decision that you're going to stand on. And as long as you're standing on the truth, they'll always be agitated by you. I feel this is someone who is coming out as poisonous. Wow. Also an acquired taste, but I feel for many of you, you're no longer wanting to take part in what they're investing in, what they're doing. This energy has definitely become a toxic connection, something that you're not wanting to invest or deal with. Something about them just hasn't changed. And even if this is unfinished business with you, this is just something too, too scary to go back to. Many of you are just yearning for more. Yearning for your better half, a better situation, something more stable, something more reliable. And it just not, it's just not them. Let's get some energy here. Yeah, it's just not them because it's someone who's still in their ego, all about self, coming towards you because they feel they can't have you. This is someone who knows that they don't have the key to your heart. But as I said before, they're up for the challenge. But I sense that's the type of games narcissists like to play. As many of you had to let this energy go because of their lies, their clown-like ways. Because many of you no longer recognize who you thought they were. As it seems this energy is severely emotionally stunted and underdeveloped when it comes to giving and receiving. And this is why you may never receive from them what you both know is long overdue. Because they're too afraid to step into a space where they ask you. Or genuinely come into a space of wanting forgiveness. They're rejecting something. Runner energy. They're still at a distance. Uh, still at a distance. Still not standing in their purpose. Because this energy is unawakened. This unawakened energy is still sitting in cycles. Where they're still moving a free will. But still sitting in a space where they're in denial about drama. And the pain that they have caused. So it's still making something out as a misunderstanding. Like you just don't get it. You just don't get them. Or you're just wanting to be in a sense of pain. But I feel the pain that they brought your way is no mistake. It runs deep. They cause this to be a toxic connection. They cause this to be a toxic connection on every level. Yet I sense very soon something will scare the crap out of them. Wow. Very soon, a false twin flame will have a spiritual awakening when it comes to a karmic relationship. Someone will have a bad feeling to apologize or even admit they're sorry when it comes to a soul contract. However, by then, I feel this energy will be too stuck or bound to something that cannot be undone. Something that will go up in flames and someone will be more than affected by the chaos that they have created. 
because something isn't going away and I feel like, like in a few months this energy will soon see their truth because the flames that they have created in life will soon be out of control mm. there will be no way to tame what is already destined to explode Something was never supposed to go the distance because this energy was simply not ready for you. But I also feel something something needed to happen for them to get it. This this spiritual awakening. Mm. Something could also be set in stone forever when it comes to their ego. Many of you feel like you'll never find the trust. Especially now that there is no respect. Hmm. Final deck here. We're going to get the last confirmation here from this sack. I feel like this is someone who has never really changed for anyone. I feel like this is someone who has yet to change for the sake of any relationship because doing what they want seems to be working for them. Hmm. It seems to be more important than getting right with self or with the universe. So they continue to be selfish and violate the the most high, their ancestors, the gods. But I feel in in due time they'll re they'll realize this mistake. But it just might be too late. Final message here. Let's do it. For many of you. This is someone who wants to return back to your energy. But I feel it's only for more toxic stuff to go down. As I said before in so many of my readings, narcissists don't change. They just evolve. And for many of you, if allowed back in, the violations that will occur will leave you speechless. As it seems for some of you, this energy only wants to return just to punish you for seeing the truth or even walking away because even though it seems they want you back in their life, they'll always end up pushing you away. Deep down, they're not ready for this. They're not grown enough to step into the growth that is necessary to be with you. As I said, you can't separate this fool from their foolishness. Which will only cause many of you to repo your trust. Repo your trust and energy to due to their insufficient loyalty and respect. As you're not allowing them to pretend to be something they're not. Just to distract you from who you know they're not. This is someone who is coming out as Jekyll and Hyde energy here. Who has neglected and abandoned you. Someone feels like they can just charm their way out of this, even though they have caused an emotional storm. Hmm. Neglect. Hmm. Someone feels like they'll always be in your heart or you'll always see them as some type of keepsake. Someone feels like you'll always look at the positive instead of the negative. And over time, they feel like in, in time you'll get over something. But I feel many of you over time got over them. This is someone who has tunnel vision or limited vision or view when it comes to their choices and their mistake. In fact, this energy is in camouflage, always adapting. This is someone who is always adapting, taking a risk and taking a gamble. This is someone who has stuntman energy when it comes to getting caught, web of lies, or even sticky situations as they're never really calculating their misfortune, something that is faded. Someone is always lighting a match when it comes to their fate. This is someone who is coming out as somewhat of someone who is always looking for the come up. Somewhat of a opportunist, a predator. Someone who is always ending up in sloppy situations. Something that is always needing to be cleaned up. But someone who is sitting in ego pride and false ways of being, the pain is starting to chip. Flaws are starting to be seen. Something cannot be camouflaged. Hmm. 
I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space where they're incognito, but due to pride and false ways of being for so long, something is starting to unravel. It's complicated, but trust me, it's all starting to fall apart as this energy has been flirting with their karmic deck for a really long time, but I feel due to their deceptions and their lies and their reckless ways, these karmic lessons are coming their way and coming quickly because things are about to erupt. Volcano energy. I feel like things are about to erupt when it comes to someone who you can't trust. You can't trust the thing they say. But I feel something forbidden. Hmm. It's about to put someone's in their place. Hmm. I feel like something is about to put them in their place. Something is smoke and mirrors when it comes to this energy, but whatever these smoke and mirrors are, it's, it's about to expand and explode. Going up in smoke. Something like a smoke grenade. Because whatever is behind the curtain, whatever they're trying to conceal, will be revealed whether that is connected to their drama or this sticky situation that they've made someone won't be getting out of this the same way they got into it mm. yet i sense even if they find a way to seemingly fool a select few they won't be able to fool you as it seems if you're the one person who has figured them out and now that you have there's no way they can pull the wool over your eyes not this time it's just, they're going to have to see that for themselves. If they ever get the chance to. Final card here, Holy Spirit. <laughs> because there's still a chameleon in your eyes. Many of you may see this energy as a shapeshifter. Always willing to change, but never willing to fix, repair, or rebuild the things they have broken. As you could be dealing with a donkey, someone who is reluctant and still being stubborn. Still being stubborn when it comes to their addictions, bad habits, and codependent ways of using and abusing others. But as I said before, things will get, go up in flames in due time. For many of you, you feel like this is someone who has yet to meet their karma, but I feel they soon will. It will be an overload. This will be karma. That someone isn't ready for as someone is still guarded to judgment this is someone who is heavily armored and still sitting in a haze this is someone who is still confused to what is restricting them as this is someone who is still sitting in a space where things are unspoken because of strategy. This is someone who is always masterminding something through foolery when it comes to tradition and commitment. But I feel something is about to wake them up. I feel someone's about to have a wake up call when it comes to hidden feelings, secrets, and illusions in the games that they try to play because there will be no smoothing something over. Someone won't be able to butter someone up. They won't be able to smooth things over when it comes to their karma because it seems they are in the early stages of some very dark times. <laughs>